Getting closer, getting closer. This is the fabric I'm going to cover that with. Stretch that over. Everything real tight. And then put some resin on there and let that harden up. There's the cradle for my tablet. I got to get a uh, a 90 degree adapter for the USB and when I get that I'll go ahead and just bore a hole in this thing put that in place and then bondo right around it and encase it within that thing so the end of it's poking out right there so then when I put this in I'll drop this into place, slide that in, punch it, and then just drop it. Now I'll have to have something here to pull that up like I have th this. Grab a hold of it from this side, take it out. So that should work pretty good, I think. So far, so good. i got to get the cloth on here. I'll probably just glue it down in certain spots and then stretch it tight in other spots. Not quite sure yet. There, there we are with the fabric on it. A little bit of fiberglass on there. Smooth it out. Go right up to the edge of that. You know, and then trim that stuff out when it's done. Spot for the e-brake. And I'll cut that out. <coughs> It's all dry. Just go around that edge, cut that out. Then blend that in up here and separate it here somewhere. Should work. Got some glass on there now. Had to do it in two different pours. First one I got too hot and it cured up on me. Summertime heat. Feels good. But yeah, that's gonna work well. Um so I'm gonna grind that down pretty smooth, pretty flat, and then put it to shape with Bondo. You know, just exactly how I want it. Square up the edges, you know, make a trim around here, whatever I want to do with the Bondo. And the plan still is to make this part removable. So I cut the fabric here, let the glass go up onto the shape of the uh, dash here. Just to get the glass down in here and make that part extra thick shove it down in here and make that part extra thick and then I'll not sure yet but I'll probably cut it off right there somewhere or you know halfway in the middle something like that and I'll probably have to learn how to do upholstery work um, cause I'm sure there's gonna have to be some stitching involved and in making pieces to fit on there proper down in here, for instance. So yeah, I think so far so good. Okay, got it ground down. And I can't really figure out a good way I, do, I would transition this and make that removable. You know, it does come off. 
And I got that thing where it's loose. Uh, got this to where it'll go in and out. Like so. And you know, of course the tablet fits in there. Do a little uh, fine tuning and touch up. But anyway, I think I want to make this all one piece. I'll um, I'll bore a hole in here um, for the USB, the micro USB, and then I'll embed that into this thing, and then leave the end of it hanging out to unplug. <clears throat> and this um, I'll allow this to be removable, but this whole piece will have to come loose within the car, so. That'd be kind of a major teardown to get this out, but you know, if that thing breaks, it'll be kind of a major break. So, anyway, I'd have to take the dash loose, lift that up, and uh, I cut an access hole in the bottom. Let's see if I can take this thing loose without dropping this. I cut an access hole in the bottom here, and then all said and done, I'll um, you know use some good aluminum tape to seal that up when it's in the car. And then if I ever need to remove it, break that loose, unscrew it, and then take it out from here. Shifter goes there. There's a spot for my e-brake tablet will slide in here to the USB and uh, Samsung has um, kind of a neat feature you can get uh, HDMI out of the USB with a converter on some of their units so I won't have to have the audio cable on this side and a USB from this side it'll just be one hookup and that'll go directly into my amp for the stereo. So I'll be able to pull it up from this side, take it loose, stick it down in there, and drop it in its cradle, and it'll be plugged in and and going. Be able to use the Bluetooth for the OBD2, you know, GPS, use my cell phone for a hotspot, hook it up Wi Fi so I'll have internet. It'll be cool. So yeah, I think uh, I got to beef up a couple spots, kind of thin over here. I'm gonna make this come up and just make this all one piece. Glue it on. I'll uh, reinforce the back here, that Bondo cradle that I made. I'm just gonna lay a little bit of glass on here just to make sure that's glued in there solid. And. Uh, Looks pretty cool, don't it? Take those sticks out of there and I look like a factory piece. Check out what I got off eBay. These came from the UK. That is a sofa release handle. Guess what that that's gonna be? That's gonna be my uh, my door latch. Spring loaded. Nice little handle, slim, discreet. So all I gotta do is mount that over here somewhere, run that cable up um, to my latch, and then I got a mechanical escape hatch in case I lose power inside the car. Quick and easy, that'll be a quick easy install be pretty cool. You know, I can paint that handle red so it's noticeable in case of emergency. And uh, that'll be cool. And it was only a few bucks, a few bucks a piece for those handles. So pretty cool. 
All right, got my door handles done for the inside escape hatch. I may paint that red so it's pretty obvious, but I'll be able to mount that you know, in a couple different little spots just depending on when I'm sitting in there. I'll have to see. But that hooked up pretty good. That thing came with a little bracket that pushes in, so I just cut out a slot in that tubing and then hooked my uh, solenoid onto this cable here and that cable also came with a nice little z-bend in it so that hooks on there good when the solenoid pops or when I pull it spring loaded only cost like two or three bucks so that's going to work out pretty good nice little score there I haven't got my traction control yet figuring out a spot for my tow hooks this rear one will be easy the front one I'm working out a spot to tie in off the existing frame this will be the grill that goes in here got that from Shane on the forum and I got it tied in back there to one spot it made me kind of a weird little receiver here for the tow hook and you know what I'm dreaming up is that'll poke through the grill and I'll be able to screw that in take it out when I want and then have the hood open and close without it interfering and I'll probably have to cut out a couple fins right here and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so it'll match for the uh, front camera that I'll put in there which will be, let's see this guy right here so both sides will be cut out and kind of look the same <coughs> and I haven't figured out